Hey guys, it's Rianne, and today I have a collective haul for you, so let's start right off with some e.l.f. products that I bought. Um, so, the first thing that I got was this e.l.f. concealer. This is the Tone Correcting Concealer, and it doesn't seem to have the name on it anymore, but when I looked at it in the plastic little vial here next to my skin, it looks like it would be my correct shade, but, um... I would have to say that this product is quite the contrary. So the first thing about this product that's weird is that it looks really orange once it comes out of the packaging. And the next thing that's weird about it is that it smells like synthetic oranges, like cleaning solution, you know, sometimes they're supposed to be um, orange scented. And that's exactly what this smells like to me. Yeah, it does not smell good. And then when I go to rub it in like this, it is such a sticky... Formula. I was really uncomfortable putting it on my face. I thought it was going to break me out. Um, luckily, it hasn't, and I have been, you know, kind of trying to use it up because I don't want to waste the whole product. Um, I've been using it to kind of cover redness and things, but it definitely did not work for my under eye area. But, you know, for a $1 product, I guess it's alright, but I really don't like the texture of it, the smell of it, or the color of it all that much, but I'm trying to use it up because I feel so bad just wasting it. So these makeup remover cleansing cloths um, are the next purchase that I made and they were $3 from e.l.f. so also a pretty good deal but I actually really disliked these as well. Um, the reason I didn't like these is because they're a little bit scratchy so when I was taking my makeup off of my lids it was hurting so badly and it made my lids super red so I can use these to take off my foundation but I actually went out and just also got I guess I should probably have hauled them but they're they're over there um, the Neutrogena makeup wipes as well but these just really were not not working out for me so I had to actually make a trip to the uh, drugstore so I could go and get some Neutrogena wipes the last thing that I got from elf is this makeup mist and set spray and the reason I got this is because I've heard so many things about makeup mists and sets, and I really wanted to try one for myself. Um, this one's okay. I wouldn't necessarily say that it makes my makeup last longer, because the Vita Lumiere foundation that I'm using is a pretty good foundation, stays really long um, itself. But this is a nice little thing to have if you want to give yourself kind of like um, a refreshing spritz when it's hot outside, especially because it's the summertime and you don't want to full on wash your face and wash your makeup on, this is kind of a nice alternative for that. So I actually like that product. <laughs> the next two things that I purchased are from Philosophy, but I purchased them at TJ Maxx for about $13 a piece. So since I ran out of Lush Bath Bombs, I wanted to get some more fun stuff for my bath, and I thought um, when I saw these at TJ Maxx, I had to get them, and they are two Philosophy bubble baths. The first one is apricots and cream, and it has this nice pink color, and the second one is red velvet cake, and it looks like red velvet cake, so I'm really excited to try out both of those. The next grouping of things that I purchased are all from Smashbox, and the first thing that I purchased from Smashbox was the reason that I even went to Smashbox, because I already had in mind that I wanted to get it, and that is the Photo Finish Light Foundation Primer. Um, I have said before that I get really oily and then also dry in this area of my face. I don't know why that happens. Um, I only get dryness like right on the tip of my nose and then I get oiliness like all through here. So I wanted to pick something up that would help me especially in the summer months when I tend to have excess oil. Um, so I decided to get this one. The reason I have light is because the representative told me this is the one that's um, easiest on your skin and should not break me out, so we'll hope that it won't break me out. And it also has the Allure Editor's Choice little seal on here, so there's no denying that. And I love the packaging. It's very modern, very sleek, and I really cannot wait to try it out. So. Um, the next thing I bought from Smashbox, I really had no idea I was going to get, but I ended up trying it out at the counter and I was like, oh my goodness, I need this. And there is more of a backstory behind it. Um, I have been kind of struggling with getting my brows exactly the way I want them to be uh, recently, so I decided to ask them what they had in the way of brows, and they pulled out this little product for me. This is the Brow Tech, and this is in the color taupe or soft brown and I'll open it so first of all this packaging is an amazing um, 
texture. It's like kind of like a rubbery sort of texture, not plastic or cheap at all. And then on the inside here, you have two shades to um, fill in your brows with. You have a darker shade and then a lighter shade, which you can kind of get these baby brow hairs with. And then on the bottom, which looks like, kind of like a smiley face at the bottom there, is the wax. So you can really seal into place where your brows are supposed to go. So I really, really like that about this product because sometimes because... Um, I haven't set my brows before, I'll look at them and I'll be like, oh my goodness, like what's happening to my brows? So I'm excited to see how well it holds up and really try this out. And then I also got this little angled brush right here and I just got that to apply all of the brow stuff since I don't really have a little angled brush like this. So fortuitously, I went into Smashbox and I bought some things and there happened to be a gift with purchase going on at the time and I was like, oh yes, score. So the first thing I got was their Jet Set Waterproof Eyeliner and this is in the color Evergreen. So it's a very dark forest green color but I have never, I would never think to buy a dark forest green um, gel liner so I'm pretty excited about that and it comes in this nice little package of course not cheap um, so that was also pretty exciting because it is a substantial um, gift with purchase the second thing that I got I have been dying to get one of these for the longest time so it was extra fortuitous I guess that they had one of these in the little um, gift with purchase kit and that is one of these angled eyeliner brushes. I have heard so many times that this kind of eyeliner brush makes applying eyeliner a completely carefree effortless endeavor so I'm pretty excited about that as well and the last part of the gift with purchase was this little Smashbox palette and these four on this side are all testers of the brow thing that I bought and the wax is this one up here and then these six are six different colors of cream eyeliner so that concludes my little collective haul for this month I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you very soon bye guys